Welcome back to The Legend of Heroes Trails in the Sky, second chapter. We're sneaking. We're going to save all of the students and faculty of the academy. I thought you were going to say we were going to save all of the stooges. Save me, Landon. I don't want to save you. No. I don't want to save any of us. I'll just die. Okay. Bye. Which academy is this? It's, uh, the, the Junes. Junes. It's not Junes, but uh, Genus. Gen is genus. Genus. It looks like penis, but with a J. It looks like, it looks like Ginus. It looks like vagina. Yeah. Anyway, Genus Royal Academy. That's the that's the name of the school. We got um, new party members. Yeah, yeah. So at the end of the last uh, part, um, it's Annalise it. and Kurt decided to join the party. Yeah. For good? No. Probably not. No, because this is a hidden side quest. Definitely not for good. But they're here. See? Annalise eventually came back as a party member. Eventually. Yeah. Nice. Um, so each of, like, the main buildings... Not each all the main buildings, but uh, if you remember back to when we did the scouting as Joshua in the last part, um, the both the dormitories and the school itself will have uh, people watching over it, as well as the club clubhouse. We're in the clubhouse right now. Um, so you'll have one fight in each, and then the school has a fight on both floors. So, uh, that's five fights that you have to do. Um, all of them have, uh, a Jaeger of both the gun and sword variety, and then they come with something else. In this one, they come with, uh, one of these little kitty cats, um, and it's kind of cute, and I want to pet it. That, <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm gonna name him Twizzler. Twizzler, because he looks like a twiz. His tail gonna, looks like a Twizzler. I was gonna say I I, I could see the the resemblance with a. Uh... It's, it's got like the the dark red, the yeah. uh, the maroon. Um. Um. Yeah. Go ahead. Oh no! I was just gonna say I noticed the battle music is different. I know we've heard it before, but it's it feels like it's been a while. I think it has been a little bit since we've listened to this. This song, I think, plays throughout the entirety of this part of the game. I don't think it stops I was gonna until we get to the end of... Oh. Uh, oh, it plays in and out of battle. That's right. Yeah. That's, uh, that's cool. Twizzler, you're but, being a bad kitty. So some of the other stuff we can run into is uh, there is one other fight that has one of these little bad kittens. Um, there is archaisms, uh, like the little guy, just the little like sentry guys. There's the big, uh, big robot ones um, that explode upon death. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. I think it's just like. Two different sentry types: the the giant robot that explodes, and then uh, the saber cats. Yeah. And then what we need to do is uh, find everyone. Hey, look! It's some people. Mr. Effort and Mr. Ratio. Those are certainly their name. I actually I looked away for a second to respond to a message. I apologize, but uh, I thought you were kidding. Those are yeah. actually their names. No, he's actually he's the Twitter guy that's trying to ratio everyone. 
L ratio, you fell off. I don't get it. Anyway, here's some more people. Twitter culture is dumb. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know what people do. I don't know I what I do. I just look at images on Twitter. That's all what, Twitter's good for. What kind of images, Landon? Uh, Bulbasaur. And? Uh, uh, uh... Estelle Bright. Yeah, there we go. The two things that Twitter is used for. Should be used for. Bulbasaur oh. and Estelle. The, uh, the item, uh, that teacher gave us is the only time you can get that food stuff, so make sure you get it from her, and then eat it at some point. Speaking of which, we really should just, uh, replace I, the rest of the party with a Bulbasaur. I love the heart, like, obviously you cut the fight because it's the same thing that we just saw, but, like, I love the hard cut to them just, like, laying dead on the ground. <laughs> it's it's pretty what funny. I, what I should do is a uh, still shot. We'll be right back, and then it, uh, a hard cut back to them just laying on the ground. Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, it's the dean. Apparently, um, well, I think we learned this in the last part, but Gilbert thinks someone at this school is uh, the princess of liberal. What? No way. And we know she's not actually here. She's at the castle. She's right not now. here. Yeah. She's not here. <laughs> it's not him. Um, but that means he's going to be wild and unhinged and could possibly um, do some bad stuff by, Ooh. like, Grabbing a, someone who is not Chloe and being like, this is Chloe. Uh-oh. It's Hans and Jill. Yep. I remember last part when we talked through the window. At them? Yes. And... Urge to kill <laughs> Rising. <laughs> I love how much Estelle oh. hates Gilbert. Oh my god. That's probably the easiest thumbnail. Uh, I don't know. We, we've got more video. Oh, boy. Getting shot isn't... Or getting shot at isn't really my thing. I thought she just said getting shot. <laughs> yeah, getting shot like, isn't my thing either. No, no shit. Oh, yeah, make sure you go upstairs. I think these are the ones with the giant exploding robot. If I remember right. <laughs> and they're dead. Oh, uh, God. We're here because we're bracers. Um... Okay. I mean, sure. Joshua! Everyone's so happy that uh, Joshua's around. Yeah. To be fair, he did, like, disappear for a long-ass time. Yeah, a couple months. Oh, shit, it's fucking Jerome with a G. <laughs> I forgot about him. Jerome. Garome. Gerald. It's Garami. Garami? Garami Yugi? I understand. All right. We could if you leave me alone. Alright, who's into this one? It's Logic. It's Logic, the rapper? Yes.
Logic does not use logic. Argyle Gargyle. I don't understand why they don't have people, like, moving into, like, one space, but whatever. By walking around and talking to the people, we've saved them, so... Eh. Perfect. Uh, you do not need to go to the auditorium. There is no one in the auditorium. Who the hell are you? Wait, what? <laughs> oh. Oh, sh nice. Level up. Who could it be? Who could it be? Who could it be? Josh Who would it be? Who would it be? Who would it be? Thank you, Bobo Bo. Here they are, right here. There they are, right there. Who's the dragon there? I've gotta go. Excuse me. Sorry. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Why do their why do their heads go crunch when I step on them? <laughs> that sounds like something Justin would say. Eh, I don't want to fight this thing. And this is the last set. Quite. Nice to nice beat to you. <laughs> Good one, Annalise. You come up with uh, a catchy line every single time we run into Jaegers. That, I mean, fair enough. Yeah. Oh, okay. Kurt's just like, hold on, L let me just do L that. Let me just stab him real quick. That'll fix him up. That'll fix him right up. He'll be as good as new. So there is, if you go into your Bracer Notebook, um, a list of everyone there, um, and Girl's it voice. will actually cross people out, um, and oh, if nice. you look at it, you'll notice there's one name left. <gasps> so after, the, after you've cleared out uh, and saved everyone but the last remaining person, just run to the old schoolhouse. Don't worry, we're almost done with this song. <laughs> Man's voice. I thought Who it was girl. It I thought it was girl's voice. Oh, I that see. Was Gilbert. Hi, Gilbert. Who the fuck is Rochelle? She's a fencing club member. Oh, okay. She's Chloe's friend. Okay. Good enough for me. 
Gilbert thinks, ah, I know the princess fences, which means this is the princess. This is the princess. Sorry, Gilbert, your princess is in another castle. Tee hee. <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> what are you, what are you talking about? about? The music <laughs> The music in the background is just getting me right now. It's just intense freeform jazz for this standoff. And it's basically Gilbert being a dumbass. Yeah. <laughs> what? Bingo. <laughs> He's I love how like constantly pathetic he is. I mean, he is a literal butt of a joke. Yeah. Um both in like cutscenes, but also in combat, so it's fun. <gasps> oh shit, it's fucking Sieg. God, Sieg. I god, I blanked on Sieg's name for a second. The real MVP of this franchise. What's up, Sieg? I I love my Olivier, but Sieg. Sieg. Time for ultra violence, folks. Lana Del Rey. All right, so it's fight Gilbert. He doesn't even get Gilbert... like super good battle music. Yeah, Gilbert gets just normal ass fucking music. This game really said fuck Gilbert. Yeah. My favorite thing about Gilbert is the um. The Steam version of this game has a trophy um, for beating him all three times um, and never losing to him. That's pretty funny. Yeah. And, uh, like, the description is, Gilbert's the best, but don't ever lose to him. <laughs> okay, Analis. He's done. Alright, so... Oh Why God. does he sound like Spongebob? What the fuck? <laughs> it's a- it's a debuff. It doesn't oh. actually do damage. That's... His- Yeah, the- really the threat in this fight is those archaisms that are just random mooks. He is voiced by Bryce Pappenbrook. Um, Gilbert himself pretty much sucks. He can debuff and he can set mines. Oh, and throw a grenade that just delays. Oh, he's the English voice of both uh, Kirito from Sword Art Online and um, Aaron Yeager from Attack on Titan. So he just and, sucks. and so he voices. I mean, y you know what? I like I like Gilbert more than uh, Kirito. So <laughs> damn, <laughs> dude, Kirito sucks. I will say, although I enjoyed Sword Art Online, it was probably despite the existence of Kirito. 
I did not care for him as a character. Asuna, pretty good. But I like I just kinda like the general story more than I like the characters. He's not even setting the mines near me. <laughs> oh my god, he shot his gun. Oh my god. It only did a thousand damage on Kurt, who has a pretty nasty defense debuff. He was red in Pokemon Origins. Damn. Oh, he's also Agate. Oh, that's funny. Agate's a cool character, though. Agate's a good character. <laughs> oh, he's Henry right, in let's... Fire Emblem. So this is not going to do a whole lot of damage because of the debuff, but it's cool as hell. Whoa. He's our boy Henry. Hold on. All right, Annalise. You finish it off. Do it. I'm gonna let our guest characters show off. Take this! Take this! <laughs> Jerk! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Good job, Annalise. You have good experience. No. <laughs> what a loser. He sucks. <laughs> we are bullying him. Yes. It's pretty easy to bully. He voices a couple characters in uh, the Danganronpa series. I don't know what those are. Dagon Ron Paul. I know what that is. <laughs> Uh, he voices at least a character from a yeast game. Oh, what character? Um, I have to scroll back up. What yeast game? Uh, he... Memories of Calcetta. Oh, he... I don't know he... any of those characters. He plays a spoiler character in uh, Persona 5 Royal. Cool. Don't look at his entry for Persona 5 Royal if you don't want to be spoiled to that cloud. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. I kind of already been accidentally spoiled. Huh. Oh. Rip. Anyway, Campanella is here to take Gilbert away, and by that I mean set See him me on fire. Is he being murdered? Kind of. That's badass. He's he's literally on fire. Is he gonna die? Nah. He comes back. This is, after all, a side quest. Although, it is canon. This is, a, this so. is an awfully in-depth side quest. Welcome to Trails. We have those. Sieg is still here. Just chilling. And with that, we saved the school. The Yay! End. Do we get like a like a party or something? Like uh, a pizza we, party? We get to watch these uh, four fuck off. Oh, okay. We may see them again. Probably will. Did Agate what just say want? darn instead of damn? Uh, yes. Okay. He's softening up.
Yeah. And with that, we will never see those assholes again. The end. They died on the way back home. Actually, I can't say that. Anyway, goes to the humanities classroom after you uh, save the school and go talk to Purity, because she's going to have a volume of the Gambler Jack uh, book series. That's me. And then go grab Tita, if she's not already in your party. Why? Yes, why? Because I said so. Okay. Um, we're gonna get her an upgrade to her, one of her, uh, S-Crafts. Oh. So if you go to the Arms and Guards, uh, and talk to Eva, when Tita's in your party, after you save the school, uh, you will have this, this long-winded cutscene, and Tita will have, uh, her S-Craft updated afterwards. Cloud, you didn't mention the most important Bryce Pappenbrook role of all. He's the current voice of Silver the Hedgehog. I did not. He did not. Don't you don't you just love Silver the Hedgehog, Cloud? Um I mean, that's that requires a really loose definition of the term love. Wanna okay. make out? <laughs> Okay, I will say though, uh, if he he would have been Silver in Team Sonic Racing, which is the best iteration of Silver. Fair. They need to do more with uh, Sonic's cast of losers. True. They don't need to be playable or anything. They just, I don't know. Just have them fuck around. Yeah. I mean, there is the Sonic Frontiers DLC coming sometime this year that will add extra playable characters. Well, as long as I can m mine hack as Silver, I'll be, I'll be happy. <laughs> nah, something tells me they'll probably just give you access to the characters that are like already in the game but not playable normally. So, Shadow the Hedgehog. Got it. That's who I assume is in the game, but not playable. I'm gonna be honest. I haven't beaten the game yet. Is Shadow actually in the game? I don't know. I was just saying that because they tend to make Shadow a playable character regardless. I mean, yeah. Yeah. <sighs> Sonic Forces was such an undercooked game. <laughs> Like, I think about Shadow's last playable appearance in, like, a main Sonic game, which was Sonic Forces, and they could have done so much more with that backstory. They were like, here's three levels of Shadow that are already levels that you play as Sonic, and also, the whole aspect of Infinite's character is pretty fucking stupid. Yeah. But that's not Trails in the well Sky related. Well, next time, we're going to uh, explore more bows and possibly move on to... Oh, wait. We're in Ruan. Yeah, we're going to explore more Ruan. Okay, bye.